what do Taylor Swift, Oprah Winfrey and Nelson Mandela have in common? They are all INFJ personality types. INFJs are idealists, creative and fair-minded. They see the world not the way it is, but the way they think it should be. These famous INFJs are the perfect example of the power and capability that comes with being an INFJ personality type. Welcome back, Cycles. Today, we'll be presenting you with 10 famous INFJs, the world's rarest personality type. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, as well as click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Number 1. Taylor Swift There's no doubt that Taylor Swift is known for her creative and emotionally sensitive music production, which already points to a more intuitive and feeling judgement. But her private personality seems to show clear signs of INFJ qualities. Taylor Swift is known as one of the more private successful musicians, rarely sharing information about her relationships, family life or future plans. She has a small group of friends and has claimed on multiple occasions that on her off time she can be found at home with her cats, a classic INFJ move. Her caring and empathising nature can be felt through interviews and stage presence. Meanwhile, her song lyrics show that there is a lot of emotion processing going on behind closed doors. She is also known to donate considerable amounts of money for important causes, showing she is compassionate, caring and puts the needs of her loved ones before herself. Number 2. George Harrison the famous Beatle guitarist, singer-songwriter and producer George Harrison has become a household name that most people admire. Although George is sometimes mistaken for an INTP personality type, his feelings and judging characteristics seem to show otherwise. George Harrison was always known as the more relaxed and reserved Beatle, seemingly more interested in the spiritual aspect of things rather than the fame and fortune. His INFJ personality type is not only felt through his mannerisms shown through interactions, interviews and performances, but his interest in the universe. The Hare Krishna religion and Indian spirituality philosophies of the mind show the classic INFJ tendencies of looking at the bigger picture of what it all means. He didn't feel obligated to follow the crowd and had beautiful analogies for the outlook he had on life. Number 3. Eleanor Roosevelt Eleanor Roosevelt is known as the first lady of former President of America in 1933 to 1945, as well as a United Nations diplomat and humanitarian. She was considered one of the most admired and powerful women of her time. She had always claimed that her acts of service to the needy were what made her feel alive and worthy. She was social when giving help required her to be, but she was said to be reserved and extremely empathetic by nature. She resisted structure and wasn't afraid to stand up for what she believed in. Eleanor was known to be one of the women who stood up for African-American rights and women's rights in the workplace, two extremely risky worldviews that would take a lot of courage to speak out against at the time. A key component of an INFJ personality type who goes against the grain in an attempt to better society as a whole. Number 4. J.K. Rowling J.K. Rowling, the British author known for writing the Harry Potter series, is a clear INFJ personality type. Beside the fact that INFJs are known to be creative writers, the imaginative, dreamlike mind that is presented through her brilliant novels shows how fiercely idealistic her judging and intuitive make her. Aside from her brilliant writing and reserved personality, Rowling is also famous for her considerable donations to charities, being the first billionaire to lose their billionaire status because of the large donations she makes. She also shared her INFJ personality type results in a 2015 interview while saying, I'm a small group person. My dream is a small group I know very well. Then we have an intense conversation. I don't want an argument, but I want a conversation about things that really matter. Nothing screams INFJ more than a small group and a genuine conversation. Number 5. Mahatma Gandhi the spiritual and political leader of India from 1921 to 1948, Gandhi's good deeds and movements against social injustice have lived on long after his passing by changing the lives of so many people. 
Gandhi's INFJ personality type drove him to be one of the most influential non-violent visionaries who encouraged others to fight for their rights by inspiring them with his dream. He led the ideal INFJ life, quiet and introspective. He used his intuition and judgment as a drive to properly fix what was wrong in the world. He saw a major injustice and decided to dedicate his whole life to fix it. Gandhi didn't go to school to be a lawyer for any other reason than to make a mark on the world, a telltale INFJ personality trait where justice comes before money. Number 6. Mel Gibson Australian actor and screenwriter, producer and director, Mel Gibson is the classic INFJ example. Beside being a great actor and often playing roles of helpful personalities, this INFJ is known to have a compelling sense of self, spiritual in nature and a seeker of truth. He claims to enjoy working alone, without the interruptions of other people's ideas and opinions, and tends to live life by his own ideals, which makes it difficult for him to make and keep close connections. Charming and attractive, Mel knows how to draw people in and become the life of the party, but only in his own accord. When this actor is pushed to do things that go against his morals or desires, he is said to become irritated and frustrated. I'm sure some INFJs can relate. Number 7. Martin Luther King Jr. Using Gandhi's peaceful protest approach, Martin Luther King Jr. followed his footsteps by leading a movement of his own. King was documented as being a very mentally busy man who took himself and his movement very seriously. He was known to constantly be in his head, never taking a second to relax because of the overwhelming urge to serve humanity. His civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s changed life as we know it and encouraged so many people to step up for their rights with a dream that he had planted. Martin Luther King showed the best traits of an INFJ. He was committed to his ideals and ready to put himself in the line of defense to protect them. He was a brilliant speaker, articulate and forceful. He was able to convince others of his beliefs and lead them to action. Number 8. Oprah Winfrey Oprah is definitely a special type of person. Her forward questions and curiosity matched with her extreme empathy and care for others explains how she is considered to be an INFJ. This TV host and philanthropist was born into a humble family, but that didn't stop her drive and ambition, which led her to become the first African-American billionaire. She is a focused and determined woman who uses her deep and never-ending longing to better herself to help others with their own struggles. In fact, her entire life and career has been dedicated to serving others by connecting through struggles and even offering personal help with her incomparable communication skills. She dreams big and cares for her community, two things that would lead any INFJ into a very fulfilling and satisfying life. Number 9. Nelson Mandela This former South African president is the epitome of another successful INFJ who stood up for justice at the expense of his fear. Despite his efforts to bring justice to his country, he was wrongfully imprisoned for 27 years. However, that did not stop his vision. Instead, Mandela shaped a better world through his own initiative. Among the most influential leaders of the 20th century, Mandela exhibited the best traits of the Myers-Briggs INFJ type. He was eloquent and had a sharp sense of humor that diffused many touchy situations. He was confident, light-hearted, and empathetic, which made it very easy to charm his followers and believers. And number 10. Al Pacino this award-winning actor is a true introvert, despite his explosive and intense acting style. In fact, Pacino claims that he was naturally always a very shy person, and getting into acting was a way for him to step out of his comfort zone and curb his shyness. His INFJ traits don't just stop at introversion. Al is said to believe that he can see the good and bad in everyone, and that he uses his intuition and observing tendencies to navigate through life. He said he doesn't feel comfortable around conflict and confrontations and tries to avoid them when necessary. This INFJ actor can easily play the role of people that are opposed to his personality type because of his deep understanding of the human psyche and his human behavior which comes naturally to the INFJ personality type. 
Soul Cycles, who is your favourite famous INFJ? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel for more cycle videos.